So the world we live in today is about stealing from the poor and giving to the rich. Remember Robin Hood, the story of Robin Hood? Robin Hood was the, was the guy who would steal from the rich and give to the poor. And now we have, we have Robin Hood, or the, the modern day politicians are Robin Hood in reverse, where they steal from the poor what little the poor have, even if they have a little, they take that little, cut it in half, and give it to the rich. And that's essentially what uh, the the state of our state of our world. So, so uh, billionaires um, paid no tax. Sixty companies on the Fortune 500 uh, list paid zero in tax in 2018. Now, I thought I thought Trump's Tax breaks were going to make America great again, right? That was the idea, trickle-down economics. If you cut the taxes on the billionaires and the corporate tax rate, you drop the tax rate down from 34 to 21%, 34% to 21%, that's going to make America great again because they're going to take that money and they're going to create millions of jobs, right? That's the theory, right? But they don't do that. Instead, they take the money, they put the money in their pocket, their pocket in the Cayman Islands and the Bahamas and Switzerland and Ireland, wherever, Panama, wherever they could find a haven, a tax haven to put their money and park it there, right? right? And sit on it and not not reciprocate. Right? That's what happens. So let's have a look. So here's here's the Donald. Billionaires in profit. Billions in profits, no taxes. How the Trump tax code let 26 companies off the hook. Rolling Stone reporting. So uh, we knew President Trump's 2017 tax bill favored corporate America, but this is ridiculous. According to a new study, a group of 60 companies in the Fortune 500 booked nearly $80 billion in total profits in 2018, but each owed zero in tax. Worse, many of these companies actually got a rebate from Uncle Sam, totaling more than $4 billion. Could you imagine this, that, that they don't even, they don't pay tax and then they get a rebate? What the hell is going on? When was the last time you didn't pay tax and got a rebate that you made billions of dollars? When was the last time you, did you make a billion dollars this year and got, got a rebate? Is that, how ridiculous is that? Even if you made 50 grand, right? Did you get, you made your 50 and you get a tax rebate, you pay no tax and then on top of that, get a rebate. That's the situation of corporations, right? That's where you want you want you want healthcare in America. You want prosperity and 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 a a uh, you know eliminating uh, or at least lessening income and wealth inequality in this country. Well, that's where you look because that's where the money is. Right? Uh, it's not it's not the it's not. I mean, immigration is a bad thing, and we need to 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 tighten that, but. The common belief is that immigrants come into the country and steal our jobs and take away our income. But no, this is who's taking away your your income because let's just look at the statistics first, right? Uh, Amazon, this is how much they made. They all paid zero. Companies that paid zero in tax, and this is how much they made. Amazon, ten point eight billion. Delta Airlines, five billion. Chevron, four point five billion. GM, $4.3 billion. EOG, $4 billion. Accidental Petroleum, $3.4 billion. Duke Energy, $3 billion. $3 billion. $2 billion. $2 billion. $2 billion. $3. American Electric Power, $2 billion. Right? On and on and on. This is only some of them. Right? I bet, like, Halliburton, one point... Halliburton. Halliburton, the, the biggest defense contractor in the world, made a billion dollars and paid no tax. And that's that's not to mention also. I mean, banks they probably pay ten cents, so they get off the list. They're not on the list, right? so they pay they pay a hundred dollars. So twice as many companies. I thought it was getting better. It's getting worse. Twice as many companies paying zero taxes under Trump's tax plan. Right? Twice as many from the year before. Uh, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act lowered the corporate tax rate from thirty five percent to twenty one percent. They lowered it from 35% to 21% of money they don't pay anyway. You see that they don't pay it anyway, right? Nobody, not a single corporation, 500, Fortune 500 company, not a single one of them paid 21%. Not a single one of them 
handed over 21% of their profits, right? So it's, again, tax havens, tax loopholes, teams of lawyers. So the number went from uh, last year, the year before was 30 companies paid no tax. Now it's 60 companies. So Trump doubled the amount of companies not paying any tax. You say, oh, no, tax, tax. No, 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 we're Americans. We Tax is, uh, that's uh, capitalism. No, no, we want no tax so that the money trickles down. First of all, all that money, right, that that's, that's gets sent to offshore havens, job creation is created through corporate taxation. And you say, well, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Because in a proper, in a proper uh, tax system, right, Instead of actually turning, if you're gonna if you're gonna subvert the money that you're supposed to give to Uncle Sam just a straight out tax, what you can do is call capital reinvestment, and then you take that money and you create jobs and you create programs and you create um, institutions within your corporation that that is the trickle down where that where that money would would then create jobs at a bare minimum it would create jobs. But that's not what they do. Because of the way the loopholes are set up, they take the money, they stash the profit in the Cayman Islands, and then they take their 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 um, operating expenses, their operating monies, and then they shop for cheaper labor in China, in India, in Malaysia, wherever, wherever, wherever the, they'll go, wherever the money is, you know, wherever they can they can make something cheaper. But then, oh no, no, but that's uh no no, because if we tax them, then they 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 weaponize the word socialist. Then oh no, socialism, no, 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 this is uh the, the American way. No, this is not the American way. This is monopoly and oligarchy. You don't have a say in the matter. You're 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 a little peon, you're a little a little surf in the in the you know, in the sea of life. Uh, you're nothing. Corporations are everything. Even, for example, right here on YouTube, you could see it where someone with a someone with um, with uh, a voice that wants to rise up in YouTube. You see how how the how the corporate setting holds down the little guy. Right? There's so many examples of it. Or the mom and pop on the corner, who like a little you know guy used to sell uh, I don't know uh, like a little drugstore on the corner, right? And you, you go there now and it's it's gone. It's it's fucking gone. It's a bank. Right? Because he can't compete with Rite Aid and Walmart and all the big chains. And in, in every industry that's the case. Little grocery stores now taken over by the big conglomerate grocery stores, right? And um, the hardware stores now it's the big, you know, Home Depot and, and such, right? That's that's what's going on, right? It's monopoly. It's you can't compete. What else are they saying here? So how uh, Fortune 500 companies uh, legally paid no tax? Legally, they call this legal. It's 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 all legal. <laughs> Shit is crazy, man. What's this? Corporate tax receipts uh, and individual tax receipts. Right, this is how much. This is how much you pay. The red line, and this is how much the corporations pay. Nothing. Theirs is flat, yours is straight up. Uh, I'll talk about that guy later. So, um, so, so that's what you have, right? So, what, what, what's going on here, right? So, I thought the the taxation thing—that's the way to go. Trump is a genius, right? But the fact is, right, the the politicians <clears throat> are the problem, right? We have this problem of of taxation and corporations that have ballooned into something into entities so big and so powerful that they're overpowering everything else, right? And not only that, they overpower so many industries and don't reciprocate. All they do is take. How hard is that to understand? How hard is it to see? Uh, to me, it's, it's rather obvious. And then what will happen is, again, the smear on that is if you tax the corporations, then that's you're, you're, you're preaching socialism because you want to give... You want to, you want to take that money and give it to the poor people. Right? That's that you want to give them free stuff, right? Because the corporations own that. That's theirs. They made it. No, they they made it, and then they made it by trick, by by cheating. That's how they made it. And then they they make it by bending the laws, uh, through Congress and the Senate, b- 
bend those laws so that so that we make all the money and everything that we do is legal. All our tax havens and all our tax breaks, everything is legal. Everything, right? That's 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 what's happening. Right? So you got you know the politicians again. Politicians answer to these people. The 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 people that are getting these tax breaks are the people that write the laws in this country. Right? They write the law, then. They show up in Washington with four lawyers and a, and a suitcase full of money and say, okay, well, here, we're going to put this money in your campaign uh, account and we'll, we're sponsoring you. We're, we're your sponsor. You answer to us. You take this piece of paper and this is the law and you go and you push this thing, Mitch McConnell, and you get this, you get this law passed and then you, the money will keep coming. There's no end to the money. Uh, so the politicians answer to the to the billionaire class, to the corporate entities, right? And then they have to turn around to the people again and say, okay, well, people, we have to get their votes, so we play the, play the, the partisan politics, we play the, uh, the race card, we play the, the uh, you know, take away their rights and then slowly offer their rights back, right? You know, and, and we play this, this bogus game of, of zero, it's a zero sum game for the people. People continue to lose because the profits, it's a, it's about the money. The money keeps bleeding. All 80% of all new wealth goes to the top 1%, right? 80, what is it? 80% of people living paycheck to paycheck. It's getting worse and worse and worse. The market, stock market keeps going up. Billionaires are, are making more and more inflated revenue, fake money. That's, it's not real. The money itself, I mean, you could say that there's trillions of dollars in equity in the markets, but the fact is once once a handful of people step in and take their money out, maybe 5% of people will draw their money out of the markets and it will crash because the banks don't want to get caught holding the bag. Right? They have millions of shares of all these companies. Right? So so that's it. I mean, it's again, it's um, taxation is uh, was a bad thing. Trump gave, you know, his his promise was to create jobs in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and and the Rust Belt and all across this great nation. But what did he do? He gave he gave these corporations tax breaks in the in the in the promise that they would reciprocate, in the promise in the failed idea of Reagan economics, that that this money, that all you have to do is. Give him a, you know, give him the wink. But it's all bullshit, right? Do you think Trump actually believes that? Do you really think that Trump believed giving corporate tax rate tax breaks to billionaires and eliminating their inheritance tax, it was gonna was gonna trickle down and stimulate an economy for regular people? Are you kidding me? No, because now Trump is all about because he's doing that. And sub, and then he turns around. And he blames, he blames South America for pouring immigrants and drugs there. We need, we have a humanitarian crisis at the border. Drugs and immigrants, they're pouring in. They're rapists, right? So that's his his play. That's the way you cover it. You blame, blame the immigrant. Right? It's not to say that immigration in this country is perfect. I I've changed on that. I really believe it. You have to enforce the laws. It's not hard to do. If you own a business and you pay someone below the minimum wage, right, or the legal wage in that country, and and the person is not a legal citizen, it doesn't have the right to work, then you should be held accountable. Not the person starving and is willing to break bricks all day for for forty for twenty five dollars. Right? You don't blame that guy. You blame the guy that that created the situation by putting out the 25 bucks for the immigrant to exist one more day in this country illegally. Uh, so that's that's better in my view than you can build a wall all you want, but people, once they get around that wall, nothing changes within the country. The corporations, the pe- the, the the employers will continue to hire illegals uh, forever and ever. Right? And you know, so, so what else? I mean, you know, again, it's, so it's, it's, they're, rather, we have a, a taxation system that is broken, and um, it clearly, it it's it 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 bogs the mind. It blows, to me, it it blows my mind. It's a matter of 
everything is, all our language now is weaponized, that people can't see, they can't decipher between a healthy uh, economy, a hel- healthy capitalism kind of economy where people buy and sell and trade and have, you know, free enterprise. They can't see the difference between that and oligarchy and monopoly where uh, a few banks and and 10,000 publicly traded companies have gotten so big that they're sinking, draining the rest of the economy, right? And and they get all the breaks, right? One of the, the, the colossal mistakes the biggest blunder, the most, the most epic slap in the face to the American people in the last, you know, in the last two or three years, was the court, was that tax cut, right? People didn't get shit. Even if you did, you got crumbs. You got fucking crumbs. And next year you'll get less crumbs and less crumbs until they figure out where you get no crumbs and you forgot all about that tax break. And the corporations didn't forget anything because they're not going to pay it anyway. They got a team of lawyers to get around that shit. Uh, so you got you to crack down on them. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting, kindly become a Patreon of this channel. It's the way, it's the way it c- continues. Without it, it doesn't continue. And uh, don't forget to resubscribe to this channel because uh, it looks like YouTube is, is unsubscribing people. And uh, so just, you know, Click the, click the subscribe button, even if you think you subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.